This tutorial is an introduction to Builders Hall, which will allow you to upload assets into your next build. First, we need to set up an account. Head over to builder.app and in the top bar, select Builders Hall. Select the sign up button and fill in the required information to set up your account. After this, you should receive an email that provides you with the necessary download files for your respective device. You'll need these packages to install the Builder app onto your HoloLens 2 or Oculus Quest if you haven't done so yet. Check out our first and second tutorial for a step-by-step -step on how to install the Builder app onto your device. Uploading assets. Once you've gotten access, you'll need to upload some cool new assets to bring your ideas to life. If you just wanna practice with me, we've provided some assets inside of Builder's tutorial section. You can head over there, scroll down, and once you find the link, you can download the package and unzip the content into an appropriate folder. Now in Builders Hall, at the top, select Assets. On your left, you'll be able to see your account information and the number of assets you've uploaded separated into these sections. Click on Upload File. Navigate to the place where you save the assets you just downloaded from Builder and select rover.glb. Wait for the model to load. You can only load one item at a time. As you can see, you can set the position of the model for the thumbnail. I recommend setting the thumbnail to a position where you can recognize it from far because it'll be harder to distinguish inside of the app if the image in the thumbnail is too small. You can use your mouse to move the rover and center it as you like. Right click almost replaces the image inside of the thumbnail. The scroll button zooms the model in and out and the left click moves the image on an orbital axis. Once you're done, click on upload. Do the same process with the remaining files here is a quick breakdown of the different types of files you can upload. In 3D Assets, you can upload .glb files and .gltf files. For images, you can upload .png and JPEG files. You can upload images to use as textures on 3D models, but also to use them as an object to create triggers or actions with. For audio files, you can upload .mp3 and .ogg audio files. In general, it's good practice to avoid copyrighted songs when building an app or making a creation for various reasons. As a student, some of the sites I like to use are Bensound and YouTube Audio. But like with everything, make sure you read their terms and conditions when trying to repurpose their assets in your projects to avoid any copyrighted issues. Publishing your build. When you publish a build, you will receive it as an app package that you can sideload on your device. It'll be a fully functional app and nobody will know it was made with Builder. In the next tutorial, we'll work on setting up your first trigger action within Builder.